Hi friends, welcome back to Sentiments. This is Nader. And uh, do you all remember what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? It might be a rhetorical question, but do you remember what happened? Two atomic bombs were exploded on those two cities. Fortunately, we are not talking about bombs today, but we are talking about an atomic level fragrance. This is Tom Ford Amber Absolute. Stay tuned for the review. So uh, let's, uh, before we, we see the juice, let's get down uh, to the fragrance details. The uh, nose behind this perfume is uh, Christophe uh, Laudiamil. And if you don't know about Christophe, uh, uh, he, is, uh, he is the perfumer behind uh, a very popular fragrance uh, called Fierce from Amer Crombie and Fitch, and, uh, which is very uh, popular in fragrance community. And um, apart from that, uh, he has been associated with Estee Lauder, uh, Mugler, Michael Kors, but uh, Fierce was his one of his uh, creations, and uh, uh, this one as well, uh, Tom Ford, Amber Absolute. So, uh, how is this classified? This is classified as a, a balsamic, amber, smoky, uh, woody fragrance. Uh, the notes breakdown are at the top we have amber and incense. In the middle we have uh, vanilla and labdomen and at the base we have olibanum and uh, some wood, woody notes. Let's check the uh, perfume. I will not spray, spray too much on my hand because it will choke me out. Just one spray on my wrist. This is a gorgeous opening with perfect balance of uh, sweet and amber and incense. The, the opening is uh, boozy, honey-like and uh, then it dries down to a very woody and incense amber. Um, this is warm, spicy, sweet and uh, woody scent. Uh, it's like a dry roasted olibanum or frankincense uh, uh, with a dose of, of sweetness but uh, uh, wonderfully leveled out. I get, a, I get a massive dose of vanilla which ensures that, uh, uh, that it sets the sweetness uh, right at the beginning and it say, stays throughout the life of the fragrance. The, the magic here is the balance that the perfumer Christophe has achieved with uh, uh, so many high and impactful materials. It's a really amazing fragrance. There is a warm, uh, incense caramel-like accord uh, which is backed up with a soft, smooth and smoky amber. So it's not upright very sweet, it's not right up, upright uh, ambery, it has uh, got some sort of darkness with the sweetness which is making this fragrance very special. Very 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 gorgeous amber fragrance wrapped with, uh, with smokiness and darkness and uh, I think it's uh, one of the best ambers uh, um, uh, in the fragrance community. Now, there is a very sad part of this particular perfume. It has been discontinued. Why Estee Lauder? Why? Why, hey, why Tom Ford? Why? Why you have discontinued uh, such a great fragrance? I, I, I don't understand why, why is this? And the first, uh, this is a Tom Ford house, an uh, upper designer house. house. Uh, the prices are definitely matched with uh, any niche perfume uh, in the market and um, adding insult to injury uh, it's out of market and people who are selling uh, 
uh, selling this uh, in, in, in their websites. The prices are, are scoring high, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really high prices. Even it, it's sometimes it's, it's uh, crossing the retail prices of this particular perform. The availability in the market is, is very, very, very rare. Uh, you, you may find someone selling it uh, uh, used bottles. And, uh, and sometimes uh, if you are lucky, you can get a test tester uh, of, of this fragrance, you know, and uh, it will be uh, very cheaper to get it. But I, I highly doubt any retail uh, packs are available uh, of this particular fragrance. I, I, I feel myself to be lucky. I got a hold of it uh, when I had uh, visited uh, United States and I was really lucky to get a hold, the hold of this uh, uh, gorgeous scent. This is, this is very, very potent scent. Uh, you, you can go just one spray on the wrist and uh, probably one, one uh, uh, um, a shot on on your chest uh, because the fabric will will lessen the the atomic power of of this particular perfume and uh, it's not in a bad way it's it, it's very very uh, very good way at, at, at atomic level it's not very bad very cheap it's not like that it is very luxurious so if you happen to uh, get this do not spray too much one on the wrist and probably one on the wrist here just Two sprays will do good good for you for next 24 hours. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> so well, let's see the performance. I mean, this is an atomic level, uh, insane level uh, performance. You know, this has got insane level of longevity, uh, lasting 24 plus hours on me, and uh, and uh, it, it lasts for days if I apply it on fabric. Uh, versatility uh, this is this is best for you know um, uh, winter and fall fragrances but uh, it can be used during uh, special occasion occasions but make sure only one shot of this one spray of this perfume will get you through that special occasion occasion throughout throughout that occasion you know you don't have to over overspray this is 50 ml and it will it lasts uh, uh, approximately for five to six years and it's, it's so potent you don't have to um, keep on applying or apply heavily on your uh, on your body this is uh, this is the performance is on a, on an, another level it's one of the uh, best uh, um, potent perfumes in, in uh, my uh, collection. I have uh, something uh, like this as well, which is very, very potent. I'll uh, come, come with a review of that particular fragrance. Gender suitability, this is a, um, upper end designer uh, fragrance. It's being targeted both men and women, but, uh, but considering its potency, you know, I believe uh, uh, it's more suitable uh, uh, on on men uh, because of the uh, uh, potency. But uh, um, I have seen many many women have been co commenting on fragrantica.com that they have liked the fragrance a lot and they have been using it. So uh, if if uh, a woman likes it, I mean definitely she can wear it. But in my opinion, it uh, it it tilts uh, it tilts towards. Uh, more on men you know it's a manly fragrance so uh, if you happen to get it tester bottles or even if uh, uh, somebody is selling uh, a used uh, perfume you know you know even if it is half a bottle uh, grab it uh, definitely grab it you won't find it at, obviously at any retail stores or uh, or any any uh, known website be careful f for my US viewer viewers be careful uh, about this ebay.com because uh, um, there have been many many uh, uh, duplicates of this perfume so uh, be careful to uh, to buy on ebay uh, i wouldn't buy it from ebay personally uh, i would uh, take some known uh, and uh, genuine retailers online which are 
which are in Canada or United States. It's obviously not available in my country, India. This is Amber Absolute. It is amazing perform. It says uh, Audi perform here, but this is I disagree with this. This is uh, uh, the, the, this uh, this like extract the perform, you know. So uh, uh, I don't know why why they are calling it Audi perform. It's an uh, such a great performer, uh, such a nice fragrance. Uh, it sh should have been extract the perform, but Tom Ford comes uh, uh, with with a standard Audi perform concentration. So this is Audi perform concentration, and it's very very well done. I have um, two to three uh, two to three amber fragrances in my collection, and this is um, all three are you know best. So this is uh, this was my first review of uh, uh, amber based fragrance amber heavy fragrance I'll come up with another two uh, maybe in a week or a week or so so uh, this one this was Tom Ford amber absolute if you found uh, this uh, video um, uh, educational and uh, uh, consider it uh, liking and subscribing to the channel until uh, we meet again within a couple of days, uh, take care. Bye-bye.